Hey everyone, my name is Justin and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a really cool watercolor portrait image in Photoshop. So what I have open here is some ink stroke textures that I found on deviantart.com. So what I'm going to do is cut out some of the cool ones that I like and we're going to drag them onto a different canvas. So grab your polygonal lasso tool and just select an ink stroke that you like. And it doesn't have to be a perfect cutout. We're just gonna do some cutouts and right click and layer via copy. Now I'll grab another one that I like. Make sure you have your background selected and right click layer via copy. So I'm just gonna keep selecting my background and I'm gonna cut out about five of these different ink strokes just so we have some variety. So now that I've cut out five different ink strokes, we can start building our watercolor canvas. So this is the photo or portrait that I wanna turn into a watercolor. So what I'll do first is I'll go to layer, new fill layer, solid color. And we're just gonna use a solid white background layer. Next, we're gonna head back to our ink layer and we're gonna drag on our five different ink splotches that we cut out. I'll lower this document here and I'll drag all my ink strokes on here. Now, as you can see, these ink strokes are pretty large compared to the canvas size, which is good. So we can transform them down to a size that we need and we don't have to stretch them out and lose quality. So I'll grab my move tool and press command T to open up my free transform tool, or you can go to edit, free transform. And it's kind of hard to see the edge. So I'll zoom out here and just holding shift, I'm gonna scale things down a bit. I'll press enter. And now I wanna start building a, a little bit of a watercolor splash so that we can put our portrait inside of it. So I'm gonna hide some of these layers here and we're just gonna work with this ink splash right here first. Now, as you can see, since we had a jagged cutout, we could still see the rectangular lines that we cut things out with. But since we have our black ink stroke on our white paper, it's gonna be really easy to blend this out without having to create a detailed selection. So right click on this layer, select blending options, and if you see this little blend if menu, this is a really cool menu. We can tell Photoshop to only blend this layer if the color is black. So as soon as I turn this white slider down, you see the background just disappears entirely. And if you actually hold option, you could feather that out a little bit so it's not so much of a jagged selection. But you can see now we have the ink stroke perfectly on the background. Also, it helps to set it to multiply. Press OK, and now we're gonna move this into position. It could even help to hide the white background layer for now and work towards covering the entire portrait space with these black ink marks. So I'm gonna continue to do this for each of the ink strokes. So I'll set it to multiply and I'll right click blending options and turn the blend if of the white down. And I'm just gonna build a kind of a splash that covers the entire portrait. If you wanna make things easier so you don't have to adjust the blending mode of each layer one by one, you can actually just right click and copy the layer style of one of the ink marks and paste it on the other ones. So that'll apply all the same settings to it. And if you'd like, you can tweak the opacities and whatnot of each individual ink mark after that. So pay attention to placement. You can also Command T or Edit Free Transform and size and rotate things in a nice way so that it creates an organic and flowy ink mark. If you run out of ink marks, you can just Command J or right click and duplicate one and move it over. Or you could sample some other ones from the ink texture pack that we had. So once you've completely covered your subject or created a nice fill for us to place our object within, you wanna unhide your color fill layer and then drag your actual portrait or person on top of everything. So at the very top of your canvas. Now you just simply have to set the blending mode of this layer to screen and you should see your portrait fill into that black ink mark one final step I almost forgot to mention to add that watercolory color is to go to layer, new fill layer, gradient, set the blending mode of this layer to soft light at about 50% opacity, and then select OK. And you're going to use one of the Photoshop's default rainbow gradients just to make things easy. You can then adjust the style of this gradient as well as the angle and the positioning to find a color gradation that you like. So that's just one final step to add some of that watercolor color. 
Hopefully you see how easy it is to create this cool image. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for weekly tutorials. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.